So now moving on to how you do your personal bookkeeping. I'm gonna to cut to the chase here and say that I use Quicken. I've used it since college, like God, 25 plus years now, before the internet. Actually I had to go buy it on floppy disks at Staples. It's pretty crazy. Um, and I like it because I think it's the most robust of all the softwares out there. It's basically a professional bookkeeping software um, you know, with a few caveats, you know, I could throw in there, but I won't get into that. And I also like it because it's flexible, like in Quicken, there's multiple ways to do, you know, a variety of things. So you can kind of customize Quicken to work in the way your brain works and deliver you information in the way that is easiest for your brain to digest. And that's important because if you spend time doing this on a weekly or semi-monthly basis, you want to be able to get the information you want quickly without having to like fumble around and do extra math and all that. So I've designed Quicken for my purposes and my needs in such a way where it's like I pull one quick report, it's got everything I want in it, great, 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 look, and you know, uh, I move on. And all of them do offer a certain amount of automation. You can essentially train them to remember your habits, memorize transactions and things like that. So as you're downloading stuff, it's automatically categorizing things and doing certain things for you to make the process quicker. Now, I will admit that that's mostly good, sometimes bad, sometimes it, it does the wrong thing. So you have to train them, these programs a little bit to do the right thing, you know, more often, but over time you can train them pretty well. And, and it really does cut out the time that you have to spend doing this work. Quicken also is something that you can grow into, in my opinion. You know, if you're young, you're starting this when you're young, hopefully in your twenties, you probably don't have much going on. You know, you might have a student loan, a car, checking account, and probably you're in debt you know, or have very little money <laughs> and you're kind of like, why, why do I have to do this? You know, but that's the time to start because it's really easy. It takes you, it would take you 20 minutes, you know, twice a month just to add it up and take a look and use the sad information that it, uh, gleans to you as motivation to get your butt in gear, make more money, understand money, understand investing and so on. But as, uh, you grow older and you start adding more investing to your portfolio or you know your or your your money situation i guess i should say maybe you add real estate maybe uh you have add other alternative investments you can find a way to track all of that in quicken so quicken kind of expands with you over time and then if Say you decide to start a side hustle or you know turn your job into a consulting thing or start a business. If you're gonna do like a business where you're the sole owner, and I, I say that specifically for a reason I'll go into in some other video, but if you're the sole owner of the business, you can track the business in Quicken along with your personal finances. You can even be able to do invoicing and track accounts payable and accounts receivable in Quicken, which you can't do in any of these other programs. Quicken's always proved to be valuable for me. They're probably the one software that's been around this whole time. When I started, there was pretty much Quicken, Microsoft Money, and Mint. Microsoft money is gone. Mint, the brand got bought by Intuit and became their personal finance software. They recently actually closed Mint down and they're making it credit karma. Personal capital, which was big for a while because all it influences and YouTubers that are all pumping it because it paid a pretty good commission, myself included, admittedly. I tried the product and I thought for a free product it was good. But their goal is to sign you up for wealth management eventually and they closed the product down for a little while. Now they're called Empower and they started it up again. But anyway, Quicken's been there the whole time. So I think it's got the best chance of staying there. And, you know, you kind of do invest in it because you get started, you start to build some financial data history and you want to be able to look at it over time. You know, how am I doing? How did I, where was I five years ago? Where am I today? Am I on my plan Am I going the right way? Is the trajectory looking good? Is the business of me killing it or failing? Essentially is what main question you're trying to answer. So anyway, you get the picture. I encourage everybody out there to uh, get in tune with their money, manage their money using a 
bit of software of some kind and uh, give yourself the best chance of success as possible in life. All right, catch you in another video. Signing off. Bye.